Hello guys, this is my final project for CS50 edX course. The name of the program is Scrum Editor. It was written in Python 3 using PyQt5, Qt5 graphics user libraries and PyInshan for spelling suggestion. So what does it do? There is a molecular dynamics program named Gromax and then you work with it you have to deal with parameter and coordinate files. So what can you do? You can create new files of both categories you can also use keyboard shortcuts. So now I'm opening a new file. Um, so and here I create a new coordinate file. You can also open files. So here I'm. So here I have opened the parameter file with MDP extension. As you can see, it features syntax highlighting, and on the left side you can see the line number area. You can also cut, copy, pass, undo, redo, and also the shortcuts for work. Or you can use the icons. You can also zoom in and out using keyboard shortcuts, uh, mouse wheel or just clicking the icons. You can also press and get the documentation of the parameter files. It also features a spelling suggestion. And if the parameter is in the documentation, you can find it. It is quite useful. You can also uh, edit coordinate files. This one is a PDB file format. You can change then you change the values, the color changes, or you can uh, rename multiple cells. And, and also the and or redo also works quite well. And here are your names for CS50, just for showing you. And you can switch between tabs, and also you can search in a file, just like I'm searching for EM in the editor. And you see it, it also highlights. And you can search and then replace all those elements you want. Also, you can search in the coordinate files too. Just for the demonstration, I will rename uh, this cells to CS50. And then I'll search them. And you can see it selects the cells. Or you can select all of them. You can also add rows and remove rows. Now I've added the row and so I'll remove it and you can also undo it. And also as you can see the editor features tabs and you can switch between them and move them too. Source code is available on GitHub and you can download it.